like this, no one's walking into a mound of sand. But for now, this is uh, this is how the construction process will. So today we have our dredging operation with beach plenishment. We're placing sand along the Rockaway shoreline between Beach 9th Street and Beach 149th Street. Approximately two and a half million cubic yards of sand will be placed along the shoreline, and it's all coming from the offshore borrow area. The sand is hydraulically placed with the Dredge Illinois. That's a cutter suction dredge. It's a 30 inch cutter suction dredge. It's a powerful piece of equipment and a uh, submerged pipeline helps transport that material from the borrow area to the dredge and to the beach. Yeah, Hurricane Sandy uh, absolutely demolished uh, the Rockaways uh, between flooding, uh, eroding the beach. They, originally, they had a wooden boardwalk that was just torn to pieces. So it really, it, it impacted. It impacted the locals, their, their daily lifestyles. It affected their homes. It affected their businesses and just their natural way of living. So Sandy, like, like most along the northeastern shoreline, it was a devastating moment. The intensity of storms that we've seen in the, in the past few years have been increasing, but we do expect to be this uh, to see this Rockaway shoreline to be extremely resilient between the amount of material we're placing here, the reinforced dune we're constructing, and the 19 grinds that have been constructed along this peninsula. We should absolutely see a, a very stable beach. It's a temporary, it's a, it's a band-aid on a problem. I mean, we, we have a serious climate change problem. Uh, we're, we're going to get and are getting more intense storms. We are getting, and, and it's going to get much worse, accelerated sea level rise. Um, and beach nourishment, um, you know, that sand is easily moved. And uh, when you, you've been to the coast after sand or even a, a, a typical nor'easter, uh, you can see the changes to the beach that the waves and, and tidal currents will cause. And so as far as a combating uh, long-term climate change, beach nourishment is, is, not the, uh, is not the answer. I mean, with Sandy, uh, you had on the order of a 15-foot storm surge. Well, I can guarantee that Rockaway is, was underwater uh, during, during Sandy, and uh, that's what we're looking at in the future. It, 
if we want to think about planning for the next several decades, 50 years or 100 years, um, we really need to be thinking about moving away from the shoreline. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that. And as far as, uh, as long as we have the core willing to put hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer public money into beach nourishment, and FEMA has a, a flood insurance program that repays people uh, when their houses are damaged during storms, um, you know, there's not a whole lot of incentive for people to move away. But New York City is extremely vulnerable, as is uh, Washington and Philadelphia and Norfolk and so forth. And so uh, uh, there's going to be a real competition for for, uh, for for the money to protect all of these uh, all of these cities. The UN Environment Program today released a report which says that sand must be recognized as a strategic resource and its extraction and use need to be rethought. UNEP said that sand is the world's second most exploited resource with 50 billion tons of sand and gravel being used each year. The report warns that extracting sand from rivers and coastal or marine ecosystems can lead to erosion, salination of aquifers, loss of protection against storm surges, and impact on biodiversity.